What is up guys? Welcome back to Pokemon. Wait, no, we're not doing it. We're not doing it. Anti-matter. <laughs> Welcome to our TBA season three week seven eight. Week eight video. Uh we are officially completely out of playoffs, which is perfectly fine. Uh I got a bit heated last week, but I mean I got a bit hacked and that wasn't fun. Uh, but moving on, we're playing against someone who is in the playoffs race at the moment. We're playing against the Madras Maelstrom and a good friend of mine, TRT, who also run or co-runs um, TBA with Critic and uh, a few other people, KJ Primal. Primal's a new admin now. Um, but yeah, we're taking him on, finally. I uh, haven't faced him since Season 1. In Season 1, we kind of just had a meme game, but I ended up winning... We, we basically switched teams. Um, like, we traded teams, and then we traded them back. I ended up winning with his team, so I got the win, but his team got the... I don't know. I don't remember how it worked, but I got the win. I brought, like, um... Baton Pass was legal, so I set up Nasty Plots on a Togekiss, and then Baton Passed it into a special offensive Megalopunny, which ended up sweeping him, which was a lot of fun. Um, I have very fond memories of that from Season 1, but now we face him for real. We're going to have a bit of fun with this game, he's going to have a bit of fun with it too, but he's still trying to get in the playoffs, and we're trying to uh, have some fun with him. Um, let's look at his team, let's look at the matchup. So he's got a Clefable, uh, which is a fantastic, one of the best wish passes in the game, um, especially now with Teleport. It's got the abilities Magic Guard and Unaware, both of which are very, very good. Magic Guard means that it can, it, it's only, uh, it only takes damage from damage, like from attacks, nothing like, it doesn't take burn, doesn't take toxic or anything like that, doesn't take poison damage, doesn't take weather, anything like that. Um, or unaware, which essentially ignores the stat changes of the opponent and hits accordingly. So if you've set up with like three calm minds, it'll hit you with a moon blast like you haven't set up, like you don't have plus three special defense. That's that's sort of what unaware does. He's got a Mamoswine, which we faced last week in PBL. This thing is a powerhouse, ice ground, um, really powerful Scarfer or Choice Band Mon with its base 130 attack and its amazing offensive dual typing. He's got Galvantula for webs, which is which is a bug electric type, very, very fast, his second fastest on his team. He's got a Chandelure, which is another great Scarfer, a, a special attacker, this one, uh, with its Ghost and Fire dual stab, does a lot of damage and hits really hard, and uh, Flash Fire is a really annoying ability. Uh, he's got a Hitmonchan, uh, which is a really good special defensive wall. Um, good for rapid spin, typically run with assault vest or a choice expert belt, maybe some sort of plate. Uh, he's got a lantern, which is his bulky water type. Very um, low tier, low tier bulk, but very, very good. Uh, he's used it really well. He's brought it to almost every game and he uses it typically to get momentum, sort of to paralyze things, burn things, take a few hits. He's got a mega Venusaur, which is a really, really bulky grass and poison type across the board. Um, Surprisingly speedy as well, uh, but and it does get ground coverage to deal with Heatran, so Heatran's not exactly a defensive switch into it. He's got Corviknight, which is a bulky flying steel type. He's got a very bulky team but, uh, with Clefable, Venusaur, and Corviknight. That's a very good defensive core. Um, this Corviknight is really bulky physically defensive and special defensive. He's used it before and has used it, and he has used it really well. Uh, particularly bulk up body press uh, with Brave Bird and Roost. Uh, also, pressure stall is a thing, so we've got to keep that in mind. He's got a Haxorus, which is a really, really good setup sweeper, a really good dragon type with a fantastic attack stat. And I think it gets a Mold Breaker. Yeah, it does, which ignores the abilities of uh, my Pokemon like Levitate on Rotom Mo. It'll hit it with an Earthquake like, um, didn't, like it didn't have it. And same with Claydol as well. Um, he's got a Sableye, which is a Prankstar Dark Ghost type, uh, typically used for, um, burning stuff with Will-O-Wisp, um, and then reco and recovering HP back with, pro with that priority. And last but not least, he has a Chinchino, which is his fastest Pokemon at base 115 speed. Uh, hits like an absolute truck with, um, particularly Choice Bandit or Choice Scarf Tail Slap, um, or Tail Slap, Bullet Seed, Rock Blast, also gets coverage, gets knockoff, gets U-turn, gets play rough. Um, play rough coverage. It's a really, really good Pokemon and really underestimated. Um, and also one of my favorite Pokemon to use. 
Looking at the type matchups, he's got a bit of a fire weakness, but nothing really too big or, or exploitable. Um, so let's just get straight into the team that we're bringing, and we're kicking things off with some absolute heat. We've got, I left the oven on. We're bringing a weakness policy heatran with flame charge, flamethrower, flash cannon, and earth power. Um, this thing sets up on Mega Venusaur's face. There is no way that Mega Venusaur is not going to be running either Earthquake or Earth Power to handle Heatran. We live, with this bulk, we live either one of those two hits. And if we can get a Flame Charge off on the Switch, and then we can get another one off, but then we outspeed his Scarf, Mamoswine, Scarf, um, Haxorus, Scarf, Chandelure, anything like that. We outspeed it all. Um, and we live any hit from, um, Chinchino anyway, so it's fine. Um, and he doesn't want to risk Flame Body, although we, um, he, yeah, and he doesn't want to risk Flame Body as well, which is another, which is another thing. Um, so if we can get the plus two with Flame Charge and pop the weakness policy off in front of the Venusaur, we'll be in fantastic shape. Um, I've done plenty of mocks with this thing, and this thing, if it hasn't swept his team, it's really, really dented it. Particularly his defensive core, which is uh, a real pain to break down. Next up, we've got Jim's Mowing, which is going to help us set up with, um, with Heatran and also help support the team. We're bringing a dual screen set, Light Clay with Vault Screen, uh, Vault Switch Screens and Reflect, uh, sorry, and Will-O-Wisp. Uh, very specially defensive. We don't, we, it's not really designed to take hits in particular, but this thing can set up a light screen or something in front of the, in front of the Galvantula. It can live a, the bulk allows it to live a bug, uh, live a bug buzz. Um, doesn't live any hits from Amoswine, so I don't need to run bulk there. Doesn't really live hit. It, it, it can live a hit from Haxorus. Um, I guess it really depends on his spread. But um, if we can get screens up with this thing, it'll really help support the team. Uh, next up, we got Choice Scarf Eleni in our Salamence with Moxie. Uh, we're running Mix, Dragon Claw, Fire Blast, Earthquake, and Iron Tail. Fire Blast is to catch the Corviknight on the switch in. It does, like, I think it's a three hit KO. Um, this thing is really, this thing outspeeds Haxorus at plus one, so if we can get this thing in on the Dragon Dance, we can still outspeed it and we can do, we either kill it or do big damage back with Dragon Claw. Uh, same goes for um, Revenge Killing the Scarf Mamoswine or the Scarf Chandelure. Gotta watch those Ice Shards on Mamoswine though, but we have switch-ins to that, so it's okay. Next up, we got our Season 1 Savior. This is going to be our lead. Uh, we're running a very specially defensive set with a lot of speed, Power Gem, Psy Shock, Mystical Fire, and Moonblast. Uh, this thing is our lead, um, just in case he leads with, just in case he brings and leads with Galvantula. Um, Galvantula can be a problem if he sets up webs, so if we Mega Evolve, we can bounce them back, and we might even be able to kill with Power Gem. I think it really depends on his spread or if he's running, if he's running Sash or not. We can also Mystical Fire, lower special attack, so we can, uh, take hits better. Uh, take hits better from it. This is also a Chandelure switch in because chances are he runs Trick on Chandelure to deal with Umbreon because Umbreon is a very, very, very obvious switch in. Uh, so if we switch in with this, it can't Trick, but because it's choiced, it's locked into Trick, which means he's forced to switch out, which also means we can get a big hit off on something um, and get, get a bit of momentum. Uh, speaking of Umbreon, we're bringing Critic's Nightmare, Wish, Foul, Play, Baton, Pass, Protect, very, very standard physically defensive set. This thing comes in on Mamoswine and it comes in on Haxorus. Uh, it can also take hits from Chandelure if Diancie goes down, but I don't really, I really want to save this thing for Mamo and Haxorus because this thing has already got a lot on its plate, it doesn't need a fucking Chandelier to deal with. Um, this thing hopefully can put in a lot of work. I should fix that up. Um, this thing can hopefully put in a lot of work with foul play, chipping down um, Mamo and chipping down Haxorus in order. Um, hopefully to maybe even get rid of them, which would be ideal. Um, but hopefully we can get, hopefully we can chip those things down and um, we can really easily deal with them. And last but not least, we have um, False God, our Silvali sidekick, multi attack, defog, work up, heat wave. This is some absolute heat. Um, a few things I noticed when I was going through this team is we still, without, um, even without Heatran, we still struggle to break through his defensive core, uh, and we also have a problem with Hitmonchan. This thing solves both of those problems. This thing, assuming it's, assuming he's running Magic Guard Clefable, which I fully expect him to do, uh, cause I don't really, cause he knows that I don't really bring setup sweepers too often, so, like, I rarely, I rarely run setup, um, 
and he knows that I don't. He knows that I don't like running setup, so he's probably going to run Magic Guard Clefable. If I can get a few, if I can get a work up up or two, then I am able to two hit KO Clefable, Venusaur, and Corviknight with this set. Um, Heat Wave does so much to Corviknight. Multi Attack does so much to um, Clefable and um, Venusaur. Excuse me. And it also comes in as a defensive check to Hitmonchan. Um, which is really, really good because the main thing that's stopping Heatran from sweeping is, is Hitmonchan. Um, Assault versus Hitmonchan or like Hitmonchan with Mark Punch or even both can really be problematic for um, a potential Heatran sweep. So we need to make sure that that thing is... We need to make sure we can scout for the Mark Punch or that that thing is just completely gone. Um, so hopefully one of those two things can happen and hopefully False God can put in the work to make sure that that does happen. Uh, even with the negative, even with the quiet um, nature, with the mega, with the negative speed, we still outspeed um, Mega Venusaur. I think with a bit of investment, like in case he tries to speed creep something. Um, pretty sure we still outspeed it. Uh, I don't think we outspeed the actually no we and we still outspeed the Hitmonchan if he's bulky. So if he's bulky Chan, then we can outspeed that too. Still, um, I'm pretty sure Hitmonchan. Uh, one hit on Chan without any investment is 188 and we hit 203 with a minus speed nature So yeah, if he's not running speed on hit Chan or if he's not running speed on Venusaur or anything We can we can still outspeed it um, The quiet nature doesn't really deter us from um, outspeeding anything that we uh, Underspeeding anything that we don't want to underspeed which is namely his defensive Pokemon and hit Chan uh, which can also be a defensive Pokemon so Hopefully th hopefully this heat can put in the work um, I'm looking forward to using this Sil Valley, and I'm looking forward to using this Heatran. Um, hopefully, hopefully they can do some big damage against TRT. Uh, hopefully we can pressure him, make him work for that playoff spot. But we're out, we're just playing for fun. We've got two games left, so let's make the most of it. Um, I will see you in the battle in just a few moments. Alright, welcome back. Oh, okay, it says now recording. Oh, anyways, welcome back to our TBA... Season 3, Week 8 battle against TRT. In fact, we are joined by him right now. What's up? It's like 2.30am for him, so if he yawns a lot, it's all G. But we're about <laughs> to jump right into it. Oh, okay, so we brought the Mammo, the Venusaur, the Corviknight, the Haxorus, the Galvantula, and the Clefable. Okay. No Chandelure. You didn't bring the MVP. Nope. Oh, you can the live battle links. All right, let me do the majors battle ping. No, 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 don't ping, don't ping. It's 2.30 in the morning. Let's just... Not, the, ping. Not the clay. I'll ping clay. The pitch clink, uh, so just ping clay and Ari. Yeah, because I'll ping clay and Ari and I'll just go... It's... <laughs> it's the middle of the, n the night for everyone else. There we go. Okay. So we've got a Mamoswine, a Mega Venusaur, a Corviknight, a Haxorus, a Galvantula, and a Clefable. No Hitmonchan, no Lantern. You didn't bring Chinchino against me. I'm very disappointed in you. Yeah, yeah I got talked out of Chinchino, so that's not my fault. No, you should have. Oh, no Scolipede, Jesus. Yeah, I decided not to bring the Pede. I decided not to bring the Pede. But we brought false you... god back. <laughs> dude, I, I was dude, I just sat the calcing last half now, I just uh, I delayed. I was just calcing scolopede calcs. Thank you so much. This I happened the last time we it. played <laughs> we played on call. This happened the last time we played on call as well, where I calced for a whole hour about Megalardias and they didn't bring Megalardias. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> Alright, uh I've picked a lead. I've picked a lead. I'm ready. Hold on, I have, I have, I just, you know, wrote, write down your six, hold on. Yeah. An old school man. So nervous. Hopefully, like, I don't care if I lose at this point. I just, let's see if we can pull off an upset win. Because you're in, like, you're in third, right? Top second or third or something like that? Mm hmm. You're like, no, I'm, I am third, yeah. I'm third, yeah. Yeah. Wait, I, okay. Docs, standing. Yeah, you're third. I wasn't sure if like any battles had happened and that was like shifted around. Let's pull off an upset, boys. <laughs> I'm hyped. 
And Clay's hyped. Clay's in the chat. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you lead with that thing. That's unexpected mm-hmm. to say the least. Hmm. What are you going uh, to I don't know, man. I think I just clicked Fire Blast. <laughs> <laughs> New DLC moves, goddamn can't keep track of them. <laughs> goddamn DLC fire blast on that fucking Venusaur. <laughs> oh fuck. Hmm. This is tough. This is tough. I'm gonna go with you. False god, let's go. Oh, Simbali Psychic. Jeez. We're bringing Somebody Sil. wanted to kill. Bring Daddy um, Sil- Big Daddy Sil. Oh, Jeez, this is intense. <laughs> Alright. Please do what I hope you're going to do. Please do. <laughs> This is intense. This is this is very intense, and I can't. This this, this video is going to be weird because I can't really go over my plays. <laughs> right. I mean, now. you can you can mute me like when you're doing that. I think. Yeah. Like, I guess we'll just like. I, I I'll probably just go over plays at the end of the game or something like that. Beta Ray Bill. You brought work up. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh jeez, man. <laughs> This is gonna be fun. <laughs> You're not ready for this heat. <laughs> oh, the crit, dude. <laughs> You're not Jesus ready Christ. for this. <laughs> the crit really sucks, actually. <laughs> Stiff one. Okay. What kind of Clefable is that? I don't know why I've got so many sets here on my calc, but. I hope, I hope you started Belly Drum, bro. <laughs> Oh, what are you? I don't even know if Silvali got heat wave. You realize it's, this it's... thing gets you realize that this thing gets flamethrower, correct? Yeah, <laughs> heat wave does like an extra five base damage more. Okay, I'm just calking. <laughs> calking, calking, calking. To see what oh, kind of Silvali you are right now. All the calcs, dude. Every single last one of them. Okay. But you could be... Oh. Oh, that's good. Oh. <laughs> Oh, what are you? I think you gotta be. I think you're that. Hmm. Alright. I wanted to play ballsy, but I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. No special attack for you. Okay, teleport into what? No special attack? No, no, no. That was absolute. That was like a minimum crit, bro. It was like, <laughs> I got fucking. This is what happens when you run Adam and Clefable all the time, you know? Yeah. Ooh, fuck. What are you gonna go into? What are you gonna go into, though? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> I would like to know. I'd very much like to know. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Okay. That is something. That is definitely something. Is it something? Yes, Don't it's something. something. Don't do the something. <laughs> Spare me. Spare me my life. 
spare me my life. <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus. I'm so fucking nervous. <laughs> This is, a, this is a good game. Good game so far. I hope Clay's enjoying it. I'm sure he is. Come on. What are you gonna do? Imagine going to all the effort to catch Shiny Clef and just getting a clock fable that looks like it has the flu. <laughs> Dude, I was having such bad luck with normal sprites, I was just like, you know what? Shiny sprite it is, baby. Cool. <laughs> That's basically my logic when it comes to. Okay. Oh, clef. Spare me my life. How much did that do earlier? Okay. You just run this. Ooh. Um. What is this thing called? Oh yeah, Critics Lava, that's what it's called, isn't it? Oh! Oh! Oh, I see. Oh wait, that was that. I missed, I missed it that. Hmm. Okay. So that's about right then. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> you gonna do here just gonna go for the seed that's okay that's perfectly fine This is weird, man. <laughs> Very I'm weird. To, like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to like not lose. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh jeez, oh jeez, every turn, every turn. This is very nerve-wracking. <laughs> that leech seed is very annoying. I don't appreciate it. Your Umbreon's really annoying, I don't appreciate it. Well, too bad. Thanks for the, thanks for the wish. We eat that, oh, we eat that though. <laughs> mm. Okay. Jeez, that did nothing. <laughs> Welcome did nothing. to my life, bro. Jeez. This is tough. Fuck. This is... This is a very quiet video, we're just thinking. Yeah, it's kind of hilarious because the first time we played, we just kept talking trash. But I yeah. like Dancy. I yeah. might not like Dancy by the end of this video. Yeah, but that was like the start of the season. This one's at, this one actually matters a lot. Yeah, right? For you than for me, but I want to have some funny. I'm just glad I won my last week because <laughs> otherwise I would be so stressed right now. It's kind of hilarious. Alright, sorry about that. Yeah, that's okay. no problem, man. Okay, what are you gonna do though? I have to contemplate life. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I look forward to this one. Okay, let's see. What 
are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Hmm. Oh, you only gotta run over this play again and again. <laughs> oh god. This is this is this is a really tight play. Oh. Oh thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I feel actually relieved right now. I'm not joking. It's kinda hilarious. <laughs> I was so stressed about that play. Jeez, what was so stressful about it? Okay. Oh, damn, I forgot about Sludge Bomb. God damn it, dude! Oh, okay, so just so you know, and just so your viewers know, I am I have currently I have Mega Venus on two leagues, and I've hit yeah. 24 sludge bombs and I've hit and I've poisoned twice. This is the same way to poison <laughs> I'm two so for glad you the poison, dude. That would have been so bad. So bad for me. Let's actually, let's do this. Wait. Okay. That did, okay, so that's about that. That, that, okay. Not quite. Hmm. This is tough. All these players are tough, dude. <laughs> I know, right? This is this is weird, man. Is so I'm tough. just sitting here like, God damn, no. <laughs> don't do it. Every single play counts. Yeah, every single play counts and it's because there's so much at stake. Actually there's nothing at stake, but <laughs> there's nothing at stake for me. It's all it's all at stake for you, mate. You can't yeah. slip. You can't afford to slip up. That's true, I'm trying to keep pressure at the top and stuff. I mean, you're like, you're you're a win, maybe two wins. Uh, sorry, two, a win or two losses. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> I had to make the aggressive play. That was the only way there. Fuck that was you. the way. Okay. But what do I do? Is the question. Surrender? <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll cop the L there. I'll just cop that L. <laughs> Time to go into your boy. <laughs> oh god. Oh no. Don't hurt me. Don't touch <laughs> me. Don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just muck punch real quick. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. Ooh, somebody's grabbing momentum. Your boy knows all the tricks. Okay. <laughs> you know, this was a lot easier when I was in India and we were actually not 300 million yards apart. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Now is where the calc comes in. Uh oh. <laughs> oh lord. Steel beam. Steel beam clefable. You know, man. That's that's weird. You shouldn't know that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I have an inside source. This is the intensity. Oh yeah. Oh. Let's see that played up. Ah shit. He went yeah. for good. I just so excited you were played off that. It's kinda of hilarious. <laughs> nah dude. Hmm. 
no play rush for me. I haven't found any good openings to use a physical DMC set. It's so upsetting. Because <laughs> that's like why part do you of have... why I drafted it. Okay, was, why do you I have little special attack on your DMC? I was like, just an actual thing. I can use physical, but I need the coverage. <laughs> like, I need side uh, physical fire, yeah. like, every week. Speaking of, okay. It's not a 6-0. <laughs> it was never gonna be a 6-0, man. I... Nah, nah, nah. I don't have a hollow chair, bro. Funny. If anyone knows <laughs> anything about 6-0s, dude, it's me. <laughs> I don't have a hollow chair, you have no reason to be afraid. You don't have a hollow chair, you don't have a Mega Kangaskhan, uh, you don't have a, um... Whatever the fuck. You don't have a Mega Gyarados. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> The fucking freeze hacks, dude. Did you like the name of that video? The tale, a tale of a crippled oven. <laughs> God. I mean, every single time it came out, if it wasn't using stealth rocks, there was only one occasion where it got, where it didn't get paralyzed. <laughs> That's just ridiculous. Okay, here comes Mamozord. But what do I do? I fucking hate Memo Swine. <laughs> but this thing is just such a, a nightmare. Oh, we eat that though. Jesus, you fucking max defense. I, God I'm max damn. Defense. Almost. Close enough. <laughs> I'm close enough to it. <laughs> Bloody Galvantula, I swear to God. <laughs> Thing's gonna be the death of me. We eat. Oh, we eat a thunder. Are you oh. kidding me? Wait, does how did that live? We live in. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I love this oh. DMC set, dude. You're gonna, you're, gonna, you're gonna trip right now. What? Hold on. Okay. What's going on? Yeah, you're gonna trip right now. That was absolute mineral. Was it? Yeah. What's, what's Unless your you're... spread? What's your spread? Are you, are you max HP? No. Nope. Is that what you have? Huh? No. Nope. I'm assuming your choice. You're like you're not like okay. Thunder. No, that wasn't a mineral. Oh. That, that wasn't a mineral. I think we were. Li I think we were living that either way. Okay. Assuming you're not choice specs, because I know you're not life orb, but assuming you're not like battery or choice specs or anything like that, we lived either way. Oh, we get the crit. crit. Oh, oh, we get the power! The power. Let's go! Let's go! This is not good. We just gotta let. We just gotta let him Bye go. Bye, bye, Mega Nancy. Oh my God! Yes, thank you. Okay. Ugh. Oh god. You switching this in means one thing. Have you left the oven on? Because I left No. The oven. But scarf eruption. <laughs> 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 I just feel like this is definitely scarf eruption. <laughs> you sure? Oh. Fuck me. What is my player? <laughs> <laughs> Do I have a play? Do you have a play? Maybe. Maybe. Um, Ooh. Ooh. Oh, you just go for oh, you it. You were flame badge? Oh, dude, that's so cool. I uh, no props to you, dude. No, Thanks. that is so fucking cool. I have to. I have to say that's fucking cool. I, Holy I, got to say, I think I messed this one up. I didn't. I honestly didn't think you'd stay in, and I didn't think it would do that. Oh, because you got a crit with the thunder. That's why. <laughs> yeah, that's that's my bad. But like, dude, that's so cool. So you get the no, like, the the and then you get the crit on the heat train. Hax is just not on my side in this league. It's just not on my side. <laughs> I actually have to say you're probably right, because, um, 
like I've been getting hacked out all season. <laughs> so you getting hacked versus me says something, bro. Yeah, I mean, well, you're the one who's like five two, and I'm the one who's like fucking about to die. <laughs> Jeez, no, nah, I think I missed. That's so upsetting. That's that's actually so upsetting. <laughs> what are you gonna do though? What do you do? Oh god. I'm I'm still so upset about that DNC power, that was massive. I mean, I hit you with two thunders and it's thirty percent, and I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> I went for any, if I went for anything other than psy shock, chances are I could have killed. I could have gone for like a mystical fire. I know. I that's why I I, I, I I thought you were gonna over predict, so that's why I stayed in. Yeah. I was like, okay, you're gonna switch out over predict, so might as well go for it because you can't the fable coming in and taking ten. So. Yeah, that's smart. That was very smart. Hmm. But what do you do though? I guess I have one recourse of action. Gotta go to the memo. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now don't don't suddenly go for corkscrew cash. That's illegal. Corkscrew cash yes! is illegal. Oh, I'm so glad that we got that right. <laughs> Whew. I'm so glad we got that right, dude. You got no idea. I knew you weren't choice. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh, <shit>. <laughs> Oh, why do you have to bring this cancerous mon every week? Could you be a good human being? <laughs> cancerous mon, yeah. and it like it, it at least gives me a shot. You know, it won it won me the game against Critic, which, as I've said many times, if that's my only win this season, I'll fucking take that. Okay, so he's knock off. Hmm. Oh. Oh God damn. Okay, oh, that's good damage. That's ah, huge that's damage. Unfort. That's very unfort. That's huge damage. I had to go for the damage deck because I knew you couldn't kill me. Unless you got a crit, which honestly isn't unheard of at this, you know. <laughs> hmm. Okay. 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 Oh, he went for the teleport. Okay. Into the memo. All right. You can do that. Okay. Um... Every time. Yeah. Every time. Okay, he went into the Venusaur. Oh, oh you he missed the kidding me. Dude, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh, that's massive for me. That's terrible for me now. Oh shit. Um. <clears throat> to be fair, I think that kind of, I think that kind of balances out a little bit for all those bloody the crypt and the para. Mm hmm. I I like to think so. Hacks goes hacks is a two way street, mate. Otherwise, it's an unfair game. <laughs> that may be true. It is. It is the truth. Okay. But do okay, what do you do against this? 
is the question everyone at home is asking. <laughs> okay. This is a this is intense. <laughs> Oh, he stayed in. Oh, shit. Yes, 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 yes. You have got to be kidding me, right? We did it, boys! We got it up! The lychee, you know, you know the lychee landed this game, right? Oh. We got the weakness policy up. Yes. Oh, but I don't know. I don't know how far we'll get with it. Let me just see. Okay. Ooh, yeah. You know what? We got it off. I don't care. This is fun. <laughs> and we get a kill with it. Hold on. We did it, Clay. <laughs> oh. I honestly don't care if, like, if we get the sweep, if we get a sweep or anything with this. I got this off. This is all I really wanted to do. This is my heat. I said I was bringing heat, and I brought the heat. You good? Oh yeah, yeah I'm good. I'm sorry. I just dropped my pen, so I was just looking for it. Oh shit. Fair enough. Okay. I think that's game. I got a double I, check. I, 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 I don't know. I'm really not sure. Is that, I think, was that Scarf Galvantula though? No. No. Hmm. Yeah, honestly, I don't know. I don't know if it's game or not. Because <laughs> uh. I, 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 I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to call anything early. That's my thing. I've had no, I'm looking at Gals and I think it's game. I've had such bad luck all season. My only good luck is that Critic didn't bring high jump kick against me. <laughs> <laughs> if he brought that, then I wouldn't have a win. Okay. I need to calc one last thing. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's game, but like, I need to calc well, one last thing. I don't know your sets, so... <laughs> I, I don't know. I should have just brought heat like this all season. <laughs> yeah, probably. Oh well. It, wait, what's the regulation? Is it bottom one? Is it bottom one of each division, or is it bottom two? That's bottom one. Okay. So it comes down to if this hits and. Hmm. So I might, I might not even, I might not even get regulated if I if I win if like if I win this and I, if I beat Aria, I might not even get regulated. Yeah, possibly. Pretty good. Like I wouldn't mind not getting regulated, but I also wouldn't mind getting regulated. But that would explain why the like the red down here people can see on screen if they're watching is like black. Yeah, no, that's game. That's game. GG, dude. Okay, thank God you're not assault vest. Yeah. I was like, wait. It was assault maybe. vest. It is assault vest. It just doesn't it's take a plus vest. two flash cannon. Yes. It's assault. Wait, how did it do that much then? Assault vest mammoth takes 112 from flash cannon. If you had flash cannon, that was game. Not from my set. Oh, because I didn't give it the plus two. Right, that would explain why my calc was a bit whack. Okay. This could be, like, Scarf Hacks or something. I don't know. Mm, Are you Scarf? Am I Scarf? Are you Scarf? Am I Scarf? I'm very, I'm very worried as to if you're Scarfed or not. Because my plan was to get to plus two, get to plus one on the switch into Venusaur, and get it to the get the other plus one 
like as you went to the Earth Tower. That was like my that was my game plan. I wish I just clicked lead seed again. I mean, dude, if I landed that lead seed, ugh. If you landed that lead seed, then it would have been a completely different game, and it would still be going on, and I'd be more reliant on Salamence, so... Yeah, but if, uh, the thing is, I Oko Salamence with this Mamoso instead, and yeah. the only thing I needed is Clef the Umbreon 1v1, and Clef doesn't lose to Savali, so I was like, okay, fine, if I land this lead seed, Actually, I'll get him dude, actually, dude, at the range that Silvali was at, at the range that Clefable was at, remember, like, when I was at plus one, like, when after a workup, when you brought in um, Clefable to take the heat wave, it was actually, mm -hmm. it was actually depending on your spread, like a fifty percent chance to kill with multi attack. No, I cast multi attack on myself with the max attack, and between the uh, like, as long as you're below eighty, I kill with two boon blasts before you kill with. Uh, you, you need the third multi-attack to get it off because I, all I can do is Moonlight one time because it, it's a, it has to be max rolled hit 51. Wait, were you unaware? No, I'm not unaware. That's weird. I was unaware, why don't you think I would switch that in right now? I'm, but a, now it's time I'm, to 100, I'm 192 attack, not the plus attack. Yeah. Okay. GG, dude. Okay. GG's. I GG's. I, I can't believe that that worked. <laughs> Legit. It worked. Though. It's a leech deep mist. Uh, uh, it's cool, the, though, dude. I really don't care as long as I'm making playoffs at this point. <laughs> yeah, true. Well, you, now I think you have to win your next battle. Like No, I... I mean, too. I win, five win seals playoffs. Because none of the other guys win five. Like, the guys who get eliminated. Hold on. If you if you lose twice, if sorry, mm -hmm. if you lose next week and I drop to six Primal seed. wins his next two games, then he can sneak then he makes playoffs and you might not if like Critic and everyone else. I don't know how it works. But now no, I, because I might... uh, when I checked it the other day it was like I locked in with the Zank game yeah. on wins. And let me just pull this up, hold on. Yo, if I might actually not get regulated if I beat Ari. Hold on, who does who does Shy who so, does Shy Scythers play? Who does Zank play? I, I think that's Shy Scythers. Critic. We might not get if I beat Ari, we might not get regulated. You so know, right now what I'm looking at is um Lindargo has to win against me to get to five wins. Yeah. And even if he uh, like yeah, Lindargo goes up the seed. Um, oh, right. then if it comes down to Ari and Critic, and um, if Critic wins this week and his last week, he goes up too. Mm -hmm. But it comes down to the fact that Primal has. Hold on. Primal has Spooks and. Um, Mook. And fucking. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so this is, this is the game. Ari plays um, Rick this week. That's why. That's why both of them can't win five games. Oh right, so you're so you're pretty much locked in. Yeah. Oh okay. Like, even if I lose last week, so, I think I end up with six seed. So I guess it didn't matter too much for both of us since I'm locked out. Yeah. Locked in. I guess you're just playing for a top two, and I'm just playing to not get regulated. I'm just wanted to play to get the game done. <laughs> <laughs> I, I already held out on you for so long. I was just I was just looking bad. I was like, you know what. I, I couldn't sleep. I tried to sleep today. I was like, I couldn't sleep. I you know what? Let's just play this game. Yeah, that's fair enough. It's fun, mate. You know what happens. You know, sometimes yeah. you don't. You don't have to feel bad. Man. Get you busy. I was willing to get. I was willing to get that extension if you needed. Like I'm free most of next week. So that's cool, dude. It I'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll just like, like it anyway. Yeah, I mean, like if we did get the extension, I said Monday because I was hoping to get the battle done before the schedule to release the bid. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Yeah. That was kind of my first thing. Really well, I can't believe that worked. So. <laughs> God damn it, Leech Seed. Die in hell. The Leech, the leech Seed miss for the win. Oh. To be fair, though, if you hit that, I probably would have ran the calc and just tried to set up another time. So. The thing is, I was going to click Leech Seed again, and then the Leech Seed missed. Because I, yeah. I knew if I took lead seed, you were gonna double into Umbreon, so I was gonna lead seed again. Yeah, that was all my plan really was upset, because though. I was really upset at myself, but I had to let Rotom go down because that was dual screens Rotom to get the to make sure I got the setup. Oh, 
I was dual uh, screens with light clay, vault switch, and willow. Yeah, I didn't really think much of the Rotom coming. Like, I, I, I really didn't prep for Rotom or for... Honestly, I I was expecting Scarf Eruption. I prepped so much for Scarf Eruption. Um, and then I prepped for every variation of Diancy possible. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I, I can see that. Um, like, this is the funniest thing I wanted to do, is I was going to sash Yalvangela with Speed Swap. So it would Bro. work for both Diancy and Scolopee. <laughs> That's hate. Yeah, that's what okay. I was planning on doing. So, because I, what I was gonna do is I was gonna bring modest Galvantula with like a little less speed, like enough to outspeed Silvali, like yeah. 319 something. Like that. I, I don't think modest outspeed Silvali, but like something in that range. Yeah. And whip a focus, whip a focus sash, and then speed swap, and they're sweeping with throws uh, with the Galvantula. And I had another Galvantula set, which was what I ran against Critic last year, which was sub agility throat spray. <laughs> I had to talk Jeez. myself out of these sets. I was, I was, I was so close to being the throat, the throat spray set because I was like, dude, thunder plus bug buzz causes him problems. If I'm a plus one and I'm modest and I'm a little it's game. But then I was, I was like, okay, to, no, no, no. I was actually very tempted to bring Scolipede, but just Venusaur and Corviknight is just, it's really hard to chip is it down a the lot. Of Scolipede. Yeah, and then Pranks the Sableye with Willow was a pretty much was a v- very much a deterrent as well. And like the possibility of unaware Clefable. Because I thought you were gonna bring unaware Clefable against me. So I was trying to chip it down to the range where Flash Cannon would kill yeah. without um without needing it. But then I ran the count with the heat wave when I got the um when I got Silvali, when I got the workup off on Silvali, and then I was like, wait, this dude is not unaware. This is nice. I like this. Uh, I was actually. What happened? Yeah, I'll like I'll DM you my sets after after the recording's over. But I had the bulk on Heatran to make sure that I lived that Earth Power. Like I'm mm-hmm. I'm max HP, two two oh eight speed, a bit of special defense to live the Earth Power, and the rest in special attack with a modest nature. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not even max special attack, but I figured the plus I'm... two, the plus two from the weakness policy would be would be enough to do, to like, to to kind of, you know, do a lot of damage anyways. Yeah. To be fair, so... it was a good. It looks fun. Oh, as that long was... as like, yeah. So much I just wish that down, I yeah. can lead seed land it again, but you know, <laughs> yeah. Pokemon. Like, well, I'm gonna be salty for a while, but you know. Well, I'll have a Gordon win. So, you know. I mean, if I, dude, if you killed me, that was fine. Like, I just needed a chip on Deancy. My whole point was, I just didn't want Deancy taking a slum at, in any situation. I was just like, let me just thunder here. I don't really need Galvantula. There's nothing. Like, there's no need for webs in this game because I was like, anyway, like, looking at your team comp, I was like, Silvali is only, there's probably max speed, which is 317. It's not an outspeed Haxorus. Um, <laughs> I was well, like, actually. Um, I was actually a very specially defensive Deancey to make sure that I could come in on Galvantula 100% of the time, bounce back any webs that you might set, you know? Led Deancey to make sure that I got the Mega off. <laughs> yeah, but that's what I was going to lead Deancey the minute, like, the minute like, I saw your team, I was like, okay, there's no school of beat, he's going to lead Deancey. So <laughs> I'm just going to lead Venazor, and like, if he thinks he can 1v1 me, like, oh, that's another thing. Mega Venazor cannot be 1v1 by a Mega Deancey. <laughs> <laughs> um, like you know, yeah, that's about, true. I mean, Psyshock did every single set. Psyshock did thirty-three. Psyshock did chip though. It did good it did. chip, but and the then, like, Willow the... was part more than the Psyshock. Yeah, to be honest, I was so glad that I got the Willow off. Like, even though Rotom didn't do what it was supposed to do, it still got like it got the burn so that I could chip it down without having to like hit it. Like, mm-hmm. I, I still got that chip every turn. Yeah. I like, you know, Rotom for MVP. Willow Willow Burn Chip put it in range of Flamethrower at plus two. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm yeah. sure you want to go to sleep. <laughs> so... <laughs> yeah, man. Alrighty. So uh, that will that will be the end of this video. Make sure you like and subscribe for more if you enjoyed. And thank you, 
uh, TRT for um, you know joining us in this video and I will see you guys in the next one.